Everybody, welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna talk about contactors. Huh? This is a contactor. This is it. This is it. Mm-hmm. 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 Alright, friends. So as I show you previously, what's kind of crap? Uh, we do have here a contactor. As you can see, this is an Eaton one. It should be single phase or three phase. It's supposed to be like four kilowatts. All right, so let's open the, the thing. Here we go. The bastard thing looks like this. Let's close up the thing. Here we go. So, basically, a contactor. What is a contactor? It's, a, it's like a relay. It's like a switch, if you will. But when his job is doing to opening and closing the contacts because if it's a big load on the opening and stuff, they could this uh, terminal ends could weld together. So the contactor came in place and is doing this uh, job for us. What we're gonna see in the contactor? We got here on the upper part like L1, L2, L3. These are the inputs, pins. We got here a contact normally close and the coil rated AIE1, A2. This is the in of the coil and this is the out of the coil. What we have on the bottom part like T1, T2, T3 and 22. This is the exit part of the of the contactor where we're going to connect uh, our loads as well. All right so uh, contactor wiring diagram as a single phase. All right so let's get started. All right so for this project we're going to need uh, a main breaker like this one and then we're gonna insert our contactor let's put it a little bit so and we're gonna clamp it to the thing here all right so we have the main breaker and the contactor as well we're gonna need a switch as well there you go a switch we're gonna put it aside it's got like two normal contacts on and off on and off so we're gonna need this one too. Let's put it aside over here. All right, we have the power coming into the circuit. From our circuit, we're gonna exit with two pins and connect to the main breaker. All right, friends, so we have here, we're gonna have the phase or line coming into the, the end terminals as we're gonna show you here. From the end terminal, we're gonna connect it to the left part of the circuit breaker. We're gonna put it, you, on the newer model, you can connect uh, this one either way, from the upper part or the lower part, but this is like an old school upper part connected as well. Okay, we have here, and we're gonna proceed with a neutral as well, so, Take into consideration the colors. Blue is neutral all over the world, yeah? And the rest could be brown, red, black, and so on. There we go. And we gonna connect the neutral as well. You have to bear in mind, if is rated N on here or here, you have to connect the neutral in the right position. This is a Schneider. C20 2P or two poles doesn't matter where you're gonna connect it, so it's not gonna make the, the difference. But if it's rated N anywhere, you're gonna put it there. All right, all right, friends. Now we're gonna proceed with the live wire, we're gonna connect it over here, as you can see. So the exiting of the circuit breaker is gonna be connected to the L1 of the contactor if it's open
Alright, and then what do I do all the time? Because this is a single phase and this is for all electricians know this stuff. We have put the mains, the line, the live or whatever here. I'm gonna take a cable from the T1. Here you go. I'm gonna put it in and um it this method is called doubling up the contact. Basically the exit of this one. I'm gonna put it back to the L2. So the live is coming in, the, it exits here, and it's coming back to the L2 as well. So I have double up the contact, we got extra protection as well. Okay, so we have now the T2 is empty, and we're gonna connect the neutral to the exiting point of the circuit breaker. Here you go. Through the L3 terminal of the the contactor. So we should be done with the with the thing. All right. And now the button. As I told you, you have this button. We're gonna search for another power supply for the this button. And I'm gonna take it in this case. I'm gonna hook up the live thing on the entrance we're gonna go to the button and the exiting of the button we're gonna connect it to the a1 all right so we have connected the one terminal of the the, the the switch doesn't matter which one we're gonna connect it to the live to the entrance and the other one we're gonna hook up to a1 all right and now to complete the circuit we're gonna put a blue wire through the A2, the terminal of the coil of the contactor, to anywhere to a uh, neutral connection. We're gonna connect it here. And there you have it. We have, stay tuned till the end of the video. I'm gonna show you the, the full schematic and diagram and so on. All right, folks, so let's put it to the test. Uh, we have plug into the main. Watch out your fingers. And let's test the, the buttons out. Here you go, as you can see, it's doing, you see, can you hear it? It's moving this little part and it's making a powerful noise. Here you go, so this is on, off, on, off. If we're gonna put the circuit breaker off, you see. is doing the stuff with or without the breaker because we did connect the, the thingy over there yeah now let's connect a, a load let's put a bolt over here let's put in the best thing how do we gonna put it like so here you go so we have the two ends of the load doesn't matter which one goes where but Let's say if we're gonna have the face, the face is gonna be connected to T2. There you go. And the neutral to T3. Here you go. There you have it. Contactor wiring diagram with wire as a single face. All right, let's put it to the test to see if the contactor is gonna do the thing. So the contactor is doing the thing. But the load is not doing nothing because the circuit breaker is down. Let's put it in the off position. Off. Turn the circuit breaker on. And here you go. We got light. So the contactor is working. Thanks all for watching. In the meanwhile, thumbs up, subscribe, and see you on the next one. See ya. You got a schematic as well. So power goes out from here comes into the contactor, exit the contactor, going to another terminal and then out. The neutral goes from here to L3, neutral goes out from here or wherever live goes into the uh, breaker, switch basically, and then goes back to the A1 and a neutral, you can take it from here, from here and wherever you want. You can stop it at any time, here you go, you can stop it anytime and you have the, the connection as well. Thanks for watching. In the meanwhile, thumbs up, subscribe. Yeah.